And we back. A lot of people believe that Victor Wibanyama is the best NBA draft prospect since LeBron James. So I was like, you know what? Why not put that to the test by making Victor Wibanyama drafted to the 2003-2004 Cavs instead of LeBron. First time around, LeBron James played seven seasons for the Cavs. So that's how many seasons I'm giving Victor Wibanyama. In those seven seasons, Bron was an all-star six different times. And he made it to the finals one time. Our job is to see if Victor Wibanyama is gonna match that type of production. Leave a like, subscribe, let's get into it. All right, so LeBron doesn't exist in this universe. I don't know who this brother is right here with the, with the clean suit holding the basketball. He does not exist. The first overall pick in this year's draft is going to be Victor Webinyama. Number two is going to be Dwayne Wade. Number three is, don't tell him you traded it, Carmelo Anthony to the Heat, Chris Bosh to the Orlando Magic. Uh, Chris came and drafted before Dwayne Wade. So is that guy. So is that guy. So is that guy. So is that guy. Am I tripping? Did Wade get drafted already? And I'm just, I just forgot. No way Wade is still on the board. Oh, he got drafted second. I'm stupid. All right. Um... Nobody cares about anything else. I just want to see what the, the top three guys are going to get drafted, and we know that. And we also know Victor Wimbayama is number one. Uh, we also got Kirk Heinrich here drafted at 11th, or Nick Collison drafted at 15th, and Cal Corver at 18th, and David West at 20, Matt Bonner at 23. When do we stop? I don't know. Darko Minicic, last pick in the first round. Luke Rittnow is drafted there. Uh, Luke Walton is that drafted there. Keith Bogans ended up on the Bulls, so that's kind of cool because he played there for a little bit of real life. Uh, the Brazilian Bullet, Barbosa, Mo Williams, Dante Jones, Kirk, Marcus Dan, uh, Marcus Banks. Yeah, there's a lot of people that they don't have the rights to, but whatever. It's not important to us. Victor Mbiyama's on the team. I do not control this team at all. I'm going to make sure that they get they they uh, sign this brother, but that's, that's it. That's all I have. You know, it's up to them if they want to move away from uh, Big Z right now because he's got two years left on his deal and he's older than the 37-year-old Victor Wibanyama. Why is he 37 years old? That doesn't why that doesn't even compute in my mind. Why would he be 37? He was born in 1966 right here. No, he's gonna go in at 19 years old, and that's the way it's gonna that's the way it's gonna be. Um I, yeah, hey, don't ask me. Don't don't do not ask me what just happened. I'm assuming that Big Z's still on the roster because 2K doesn't normally trade people that are really good. But how are we starting it? They got Wimby at the four, Big Z at the five. That is a really, really, really good idea. Seven three and seven four. Stop playing. Ricky Davis is 24 years old. He looking all right. They got Jermaine Jones and, and Bimbo Coles is the one. D Miles is off the bench. Okay, this this team. Um, is Seko Decker a real dude? This is like the third simulation I've been through that Seko Decker existed. It doesn't. It doesn't exist. Why does he keep popping up? Anyway, he's on the team. First game of Wimby's career, we get a stat line of 18-5-3. It's not as good as Braun's first game. Also, this is not the team Braun went against in his first game. He went against the Sacramento Kings in his first game. So 2K's tripping. But game number two, we see 28, 9, and 3. I mean, you have to start off by winning rookie of the year. Braun did it. You should be able to do it, Wimby. And through the first three games, I could kind of see it, but Melo also is doing this right now. So uh, you gotta, you're gonna have some real competition. But if you shoot with these splits, I need you to block more shots. If you shoot with these splits, things are gonna be cool. I'm gonna simulate to around the All Star break because I think there's a world where, where Wimby is an All Star his first season and LeBron didn't do that. I think it would be funny if I didn't look and just went into. It. First of all, this rookie sophomore game is gonna be elite. Um, Bosh, Boozer, Wade, Wimby, Manu, Carmelo, Amari, and Yao. And the captain, Kirk Heinrich. I th this is it's an elite rookie sophomore game where Wimby should walk out as the MVP. Instead, they lost. So it's going to be Carmelo. All right. Three-point shootout dunk contest. Jason Terry, three-point shootout. Jay Richardson. Um, shout out shout out to Jay Rich. The man was a dog. Uh, and now in the All-Star game, did he make the team? The answer is no, he did not. All right. All right. Any other rookie? I'm looking at you, Carmelo. Did Carmelo make it? I don't see Carmelo's name. There is a world where we do win this rookie of the year. He's 21, 10, and 3 with a block and a half. The shooting splits are cool. We still do have Big Z on the roster, who's also having a really good season. I don't mind them being on the same team now that they're running together. I thought that it was going to be a world where Coach would have to pick one or the other, but he ain't done that. And the team is two games over 500, so this might be a playoff team too. 
we will take that. This team won the lottery. They was that bad the previous season. And and now they probably won't make the playoffs. I was talking too good. They just went on a big old loser streak. So whatever. All right, whatever. Timmy D wins MVP. Rookie of the year goes to Victor Wembanyama. Okay. Um, I do want to see what Wade and them did. Average 25, 7, and 3. All right. And then Melo was 23, 7, and 4. Okay. And then Bosch was less than that. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. This is the Wimby show. Daniel Marshall wins six man of the year. Man, okay. Uh, AK-47 wins DPOY. And then Elton Brand wins most improved player. He jumped up to 22-11-3. and three. Coach of the year is George Carl. Did we see Victor Wembanyama made a second team already? He did not make an all-star appearance. But he made an all-NBA team. Season high was uh, 50, 35 points, but it says career high is 51. Those aren't his stats. Just, just bear, bear with me. 2K is a bad game. We all are agree it's not. So we had two all-NBA centers in this video, in this year. Between Wimby and Big Z, they both made it. That's love, bro. That's so much love. No defensive team. I think he's going to get there eventually. But again, he is a rook at the end of the day. Did they make the playoffs? The answer is absolutely. Eight seed, the team going against uh, Cassell, Ray Allen, Michael Red, Tim Tim Thomas. I, that that team is good. There, I mean, you can see it. You, they're good, and Wimby's got his hands full because that's a really good roster. Game one is a win for the opposing team, but Wimby did his part. He almost he was a block and a steal away from a five by five. Uh, game two, he did his part as well. Game three. Um, yeah, he got some help in Gang 3. See, that's all he needs, just a little bit amount of help. The team wasn't ready, and that's fine. That's fine. This is just his rookie season. The team is not built around him just yet. Dwayne Wade, his rookie season, won a championship. So I'm done. I can't I can't use this as rookie season as an excuse anymore because this guy did it as they as the rook. He did it as the he got finals MVP as the rook. In the playoffs, he averaged 23 and 7. But, I mean, Gilbert Arenas putting up a 17-assist game in a closeout game. Maybe he deserved Finals MVP. I ain't got no vote. New expansion team is coming into the league. Is is that the Toronto Raptors? Shouldn't I know this type of stuff as an NBA enthusiast? Shouldn't I know? Um, so, we have the 15th overall pick. When I say we, I mean them. Because I don't do anything with these teams or anything. Um, expansion protected players. Of course, Wimby will be protected, right? The answer is yes. They did not protect some weak guys. I, should I care? I don't know. Uh, oh, the Bobcats. It's the Bobcats. Barbosa gets drafted. Derek Coleman gets drafted. Okay. Crochet, Lynch, um, Mighty Mouse gets drafted at 30. Yeah, they're they're going to be really bad, though. That's, that's a really bad team. All right. Uh, do I care? No. Let's go to the end of the draft. Because at the 15th overall pick in 2004, now, it wasn't a crazy good draft class. It's actually not a very good one. We got an auto-generated guy. Great. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was over there as a world where we got a real NBA player that ended up being low key nice. Instead, we got an auto generated guy, and going into this season, he jumped up five. That's amazing. Um, we got a new point guard. It is Jr. Uh, Bremer. Br Bremer. I I don't recognize that name, but he's a real dude from St. Bonaventure, which is one of the best colleges to say aloud. I I do uh, as you at least try it one time. Say St. Bonaventure and tell me it's not a fun school to say. Are right, you number two is gonna be cool? I wonder if they're going to stick with to the two-man towers because, again, it did work to an extent. But Wimby jumping a five after one season is, a, is pretty dope. Playoff appearance, all-NBA appearance. Can we say that he's ahead of Braun? Can we confidently say he's ahead of Braun rookie season? I don't know. G wins MVP. Dwight Howard is the rookie of the year. Jermaine O'Neal is the sixth man of the year. Ben Wallace, most improved. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Wimby, not first team, but he does get another second team appearance. This time, there is no... Uh, Big Z on the second team, but it's a third team instead of Yao Ming. I did not see if he made an all-defensive team, but I know for sure, for a fact, he did make his first all-star appearance, which is right in line with what, what Braun was doing. This team is also the five seed. They won 50 games, and that was the five seed this year because there's real parity. There are really good teams left in basketball right now. In the first round, we're going against a team that beat us last year. So this is what we call a rivalry. You know what I'm saying? They're, again, looking pretty similar, but instead their center has changed to Jermaine Stewart. Is Jermaine Stewart built like that? Let's find out. Uh, he is not because we get out of there. In six. And in that six games, Wimby, what did you average? I see you had that that 39 and 10 right there. You averaged 26, 13, and 3, 50, 40, 87 so far. And we're going against an eight seed. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. Now, of course, they just beat the one seed, so I'm not saying they weak or nothing. But maybe they juices have ran out. Cal Corver is on the Hawks, which is kind of cool. He made an all-star appearance there. So they got the Jet. They got Sharif Abdul-Rahim. They got uh, Mr. Ratliff, Glenn Robinson. That's a solid start at five. But do they have a guy named v Mr. Victor Weminyama? The answer is no, they do not. And just like that, we're in the conference finals. A conference finals appearance in year two. And we're going against Marcus Pfizer. Oh, we're going against, uh, no, Carmelo. Um, five seed versus six seed. Yo, yo, we're four games away from having a finals appearance. First game is a win. Wimby versus Carmelo. Could this be a rivalry in the making? We just got, look, look how many rebounds these two dudes get. Y'all can't really compare. Game two is a win. Game three. Oh, my God. We're sweeping them. We're in the finals to go against Tim Duncan. Sheesh. This is ridiculous. And they're guarding each other. This is ridiculous. This is what we're here for. Two of potentially the greatest players. Again, this guy is taking the shoes of LeBron James. He's trying to feel the shoes of LeBron James. And, of course, LeBron did end up going against the Spurs in the finals a few different times. Um, one of the times they won and one of the times they lost, right? It was only two times, right? Yeah, I swept one year and we was with the Cavs and then one Ray Allen uh, hit the shot, and then they won in seven, right? I may, be, I may be forgetting a piece of history. If that's the case, whatever. Let me know in the comment section. Three-point game with two minutes to go. Hey, you want to see Victor Wimbledon play some basketball? Because I sure do. Is he on the court? Yes, he is. All right. And again, I don't control this type of stuff. We go in there and we walk. I don't know what camera it is, but I keep getting suggested to use, because I use 2K cam normally. Is it the broadcast zoom cam? Uh, I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. Broadcast uh to Cam. Let's just see what happens. All right, Shays has the ball. He has an open lane. He gets to the basket. The lay is good. It is a one-point game with two minutes to go. And of course, they got the graphics of the early 2000s, which we love. Again, say what you want about 2K because it is a, it's not a very good game. This feature, the errors, and all of the presentation associated with it was a dub. Tim Duncan versus Wimby in the post. Tim Duncan goes over, he misses, and Wimby is with the board. And guess what Wimby can do? He can take it coast to coast if you allow him to. Do someone. He's a little bit thinner and maybe less strong than a guy like Tim Duncan, but he did get close to the low block. He takes a shot over him. No good. One and a half minutes to go, and that is Mr. Bruce Bowen with the ball, with the rebound. Is that Steven Jackson, I think? What a cut by Jermaine O'Neal. And up and over, Jermaine O'Neal just puts them back up by three with a minute and a half to go. Bremer has the ball. What are you going to do, Bremer? What are you going to do with it? You, you got you got to make something happy. He gives it down to the man of the hour. Mr. Wimbenyama goes right over Tim Duncan. No good. Timmy D, one of the best defensive players of all time. Did never win a DPOI. And you see why right there. Wimby with the help. No help from Wimby and no bucket for, was that Bruce Bowen? I can't tell. I just see a bald man. I'm going to say that's Bruce Bowen. All right, Chase, you got us out one basket so far. He gives it up to Big Z. That's a bucket. That's too deep in the post for Big Z. We got a game. We got a game, ladies and gentlemen. Chase has 15 assists right now. Wow, what a duel. Tony Parker had 20-something points as well. So these point guards are really dueling. He passes up to Tim Duncan, who's trying to post up Victor Wimbanyama. What are you going to do, Wimby? You going to let him take you like that? The answer is maybe. <laughs> maybe, I guess. Uh, or maybe not. Big Z with the defensive block. They have the opportunity to take over the lead and win this NBA Finals game. Tim Duncan is just so nasty. He's bumping them all the way. Wimby can't get anything. He takes the midi. It is no good. And now the foul game. That is lack of upper body strength from Wimby where he just decided to raise himself up, which again, he got the height advantage. So I can't say it's a bad shot, but of course you probably want to get a little bit deeper. If Tony Parker makes these two free throws, it is still just a one possession game. He makes both and there's a timeout. They took Big Z off the court. Wimby with the hook, no good. And that's all she wrote for me. <laughs> Wimby just was awful. <laughs> <gasps> what? What just happened? No way. No way. So what just happened? We get some free throws. Wimby three-point shot from Ricky Davis. Wimby got a steal. They call timeout, and then Ricky Davis hit another shot off a of Wimby pass, and now we're in overtime. What the heck? I cannot believe that because there were there looked like there was a zero percent chance that they were gonna win this game, and okay, they still lost. They still lost. We did all of that for nothing. But still, 
what what a, what a comeback, I guess. Down 2-0 makes me feel like this is a, a end of a series. But the Cavs fight back, and they do not force a Game 7. Tim Duncan gets that championship. We do already match the one NBA Finals appearance that LeBron had. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's looking kind of good. Now, I don't know what his overall count of stats are, 22, 11, and 3. Of course, LeBron's count of stats were OD, especially when he was with, with the Cavs. Like, they, he was doing some 30 points per game type seasons. Um, so I can't say Wimby's doing that, but he has an NBA Finals appearance in year two. And we still got five more seasons to go. They drafted Charlie Villanueva and Jarrell Higgins. I don't think Jarrell Higgins was a real dude, but of course we know Mr. Villanueva was. Wimby is killing it. Um, they did not do anything to improve the roster, though. Um, they all they extended Big Z. That's what they did. It, it didn't improve the roster, but they extended the big man, the big fella, who's still getting slightly better, which I guess we'll take. I'm waiting for the DPOY. Unfortunately, AK-47 kind of has that wrapped up for the foreseeable future. If you're averaging three blocks and two and a half steals, I have no doubt in my mind you deserve the DPOY. I also got no doubt in my mind that this man ain't had at least one 5x5 five five game. There's no way he hasn't. And if he hasn't, then all stats are an absolute lie. Boom. Oh, wait. I'm tripping. He did not get the blocks. Hey, I, I, hey, I was real adamant about that. Boom. No, he didn't, he didn't get it there. Man had a seven-block game, but in, in a seven-block game back-to-back -back when he only had one steal. He, he definitely didn't have a 5x5 five five this year. Another seven block game with zero steals. It's like either one day he blocking everything or, or he's stealing everything. Anyway, uh, Wade won the MVP and the MV MIP. And Victor Wembanyama. Oh, oh, Wimby, hold on. No, these numbers look at OD. And he averaged 27, 13, and 4. 50, 40. He's almost 50, 40, 90 as a rook. I'm sorry, as a rook. As a 7 4 big. It's Wimby season, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I, I didn't create Wimbledon as you can imagine. Did we not make the playoff? Oh, two seed. I did not create Victor Wimbledon. Um, I know there are going to be some comments. You made him too good. I just downloaded the best version or the most downloaded version of him from previous uh, creators and stuff. This is what they think. I, I, again, I'm just here for the content. I'm just here for the content. Uh, Al Harrington, Elton Brand, PJ Brown, Manu, and Sean Livingston. That's 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 a cool little roster. Is it cool enough to beat us in the playoff series? The answer is no. We have the Miami Heat next. Carmelo, I beat you last season. Can I do... Oh, Eddie Curry is an addition. Was Tough Juice there too last year? I'm kind of forgetting about things. I'm filming multiple videos at the same time. Um, We get to the conference fighters again. The Toronto Raptors are really good. Michael Red left the Bucks. Where is Big Z? Oh, my God. I just realized that Mike Miller is on the team instead of Big Z. What the heck? Big Z is an Orlando Magic. They extended him and moved him the same season. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. He sucks. Um, okay, no, he doesn't suck. But whoa, wait, wait. That Orlando Magic team has has who again? Let me double check that. T Mac, Chris Bosh, Big Z. They lost in the first round. Okay, that sounds kind of od. Two two series though. Three two series us. Are we getting two finals appearances? The, the answer is maybe, and the answer is yes. I wanted to simcast that, but we didn't, and we won anyway. The Lake Show. Who's on the Lakers these days? Oh, Shaq and Kobe never broke up. They're still together. I don't know how this is the first time we've seen them in the finals. They're the five seed. Game one is a Cavs win. Game two is not. I cannot imagine Wimby trying to guard Shaquille O'Neal. What, what's Shaq say? Barbecue chicken alert. Barbecue chicken alert. Maybe not. Three blocks per game for Victor Wimbyama. He gets his first NBA championship. And Shaq was in Alcatraz. He fouled out even. Shaquille. Mr. Diesel, 19 points, 20 points. D Diesel? Th okay, there's a 30-point game, and he still fouled out. This game went to, like, double overtime. Kobe played 53 minutes. Are you serious? That's, like, quadruple. I don't know how many overtimes it is, but that's a lot of overtimes. Uh, I can confidently say that this version of Wimby is bit it has been better than the version of Braun. He's got the championship. He's got the All-NBA appearances. He's got the um something, something, something. He doesn't have the MVP. That is the next step. Because Braun did did do it. You know what I'm saying? Braun did do it when he was with the Cavaliers. It's wrap. I'm sorry, Braun. I'm sorry, Braun. Uh, your legacy is tarnished because uh, 2K23, Victor Wimbyama is actually ridiculous. 31, about 14, we round up. About 5, we round up. Two blocks, a steal and a half. Hey, that might be DPOY numbers. It's not because Ronald tests this. 
and so does Kevin Durant, who's in Seattle, which is cool. But he's teamed up a Ron Artest right now, who averaged a smooth four, 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 two and a half, and one. Why is his PPG so low? This version of Ron Artest is supposed to be averaging 17, 18, even a 20 point per game season. What is his shot since he got to be OD low? Yeah, okay. All right, uh, so that's true. We were really good, as you can imagine. You know who's also really good? Chris Paul in this simulation is crazy. Uh, he didn't win MVP. He won some award. Yeah, 26 and 12 last season with two steals. And that, like, dang, that's one of my goats. And I ain't never seen him do that before, you know? Uh, one seeded though. I don't know if this is your five or your four. I couldn't tell you. It, it's been it's been a while though. This is uh, the postseason of year number five. So we got two more years. Again, I think we can all say now that he definitely has an MVP award that uh, he has had a better career with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Michael Red has been moved a bunch of different times, and this time he was in championship with Bobby Simmons. Okay, Mr. Bobby. Bobby won a most approved player back in the day. Um, yeah, so we're gonna simulate. I'm gonna give him these last two seasons, but I think I think we can all agree. That the man is the man, uh, Victor Wembanyama. Is he still the GOAT if they miss the playoffs completely? No injuries, 99 overall, dude. Just came off an MVP season. They missed the playoffs completely, Wimby. You get this is your last season. You got to redeem yourself because Cleveland just came off a championship, an MVP, a multiple all, uh, multiple conference finals appearances, and, and then you miss completely. I'm not saying it's Vic, but something ain't right. And you get one more year to correct those wrongs. Things are kind of cool because Steph Curry's in the league and he immediately averages 26 points per game. Dwayne Wade has been the best player in the entire simulation, even over our guy Wimby. He has four MVP awards. Like, he is killing it. Uh, Kobe wins DPOY. May he rest in peace. Kevin Love wins most improved player. And Wimby Yama and company ended up being the four seed. So, I mean... It is a bounce back. It is a bounce back, but it's maybe not the best place to be. His overall stats are 25, 4, and 12. He, he been all right. You know what I'm saying? He been, he been cool. Had the team been cool. They ain't been great. They're going against the Bulls. That's an automatic win of a series. Second round going against Carmelo and them. They're down 3-2, and they force a game seven, and I tried to simcast it. It wasn't close anyway. So is Carmelo and then Amari Stoudemire? When did he get? Oh, he's been here the whole time. Oh, I, bro, Buddy put up 40, and I immediately thought it was Amari Stoudemire. Um, it was, it was not. It, it was not. We just got dogged by, by S S Salim Stoudemire, who in this simulation is actually goaded when you look at it. Uh, 86 overall. He had eight for eight from three. Wimby had 27, 14. All right, let's go through the resume of Victor Wimbyama before we get out of here. I think we can definitely say that he has had a better career than what Bron did. He even signed that extension. Bron ain't do that. Brian decided to, to walk out of these people's lives, just that simply. So overall, his stats ended up being 26 points per game, 12 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal, and about 2 blocks, 50-40-88. The resume sees 1 MVP, 1 championship, 6 All-Star appearances, 5 All-NBA first teams, a second team, some defensive teams, and ultimately... He was he was really like that. Now, obviously, that the version of Wimbledon Yama in real life probably not gonna do all of that because that is a lot to do. But 2K version is pretty nice. Leave a like, subscribe, and come back tomorrow, man. We got more videos coming.